Assalamu alaikum dear students this is week 14 and I Dr. Tamkeen Salim welcome you to the lecture on topic obesity and eating disorders. For the today's lecture the students will be able to learn what is obesity and how does it affect uh, health. What is thinness perception? Is dieting a good way to lose? And what are different procedures which are used or what are the approaches which are used by people in order to lose weight? What is anorexia nervosa and how it can be treated? Overeating is a topic of concern in medical science as well as health psychology because the compulsive eating or overeating can lead to serious medical conditions including high cholesterol, diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, kidney disease, uh, arthritis, stroke and depression. The point is that the compulsive overeaters use food to cope with stress, depression, low self-esteem and many other hidden mental issues. Overeating is not sole cause of obesity, but it is an important part of weight maintenance equation. So it's always connected with obesity. The studies on experimental starvation and overeating indicate that the metabolic level changes with food intake as well as with the energy utilized and used by the body. Does the individual variations in the body metabolism allow people to burn calories faster than others? Two people who eat the same amount may have different weights and that is all because of their metabolic rate. What is obesity? Obesity is a medical condition in which the excess body fat has accumulated to the extent that it may have an adverse effect on health and that is why obesity is concerned to be problematic. It is defined by the body mass index which is commonly known as BMI and further evaluated in terms of fat distribution via waist to hip ratio and total cardiovascular risk factors. Obesity is defined in terms of appearance and body mass, percentage of body fat, weight charts, total weight. So we do not have an appropriate definitions to uh, define obesity would uh, consider only the body weight because some individuals have a small skeletal frame whereas the others have larger some other people uh, weigh in muscles whereas other carry the weight in the fat. So the muscle tissues and the bone weigh more than fat. So some people can be heavier yet they appear to be leaner. For example, athletes. The weight charts have been popular but the body mass index is an alternative approach. BMI is defined as body weight in kilograms divided by height in meters that is BMI one-fourth kilogram meter square. Although BMI does not consider a person's age, gender or body build, however for uh, children we do consider the age and uh, gender as well. This measurement began to uh, gain popularity in early 1990s. Neither weight charts nor BMI measures body fat, but this index can help us in uh, measuring uh, or setting up a standard for measuring overweight and obesity. A person with uh, 5 feet and 10 inches tall with a BMI of 30 would weigh around 207 pounds and 5 uh, feet 4 inch woman with a BMI of 30 may weigh around 174 pounds. If you refer to the page number 348 in the book of uh, Linda Brannan, you would find table number 14.2 which may show you a sample of BMI levels and their corresponding weights and height. Over the period of time, the conceptions regarding uh, beauty has changed. In past, there has been a different uh, conception of um, thinness and uh, weight and 
smartness in terms of body. So body perceptions were different in comparison to today. So the bodies were perceived to be heavier and now there's a concept of size zero. So thinness is no longer considered unattractive. Rather, we see that there are more and more desirability of uh, thinness in today's era. However, plumpness was considered to be uh, attractive in the previous century, specifically for women. And we do find that there are different various programs, uh, which are fitness programs, as well as uh, media campaigns and media, media programs that all are focusing on thinness. According to Brennan, early studies that examined changes to the body weight of Playboy, Centerfolds, and Miss America candidates from 1959 to 1978 from 1979 to 1988 and another from 1922 to 1999 found that the weights for both uh, men and women have decreased relative to the average age of the general population. So all this confirms a trend towards thinness. This acceptance of thin ideal specifically for women bodies has become so much acceptable that even women with normal weight consider themselves to be heavy and they do not have a higher body esteem. This acceptance of thinness as attractive for women, it usually becomes as early as the age of three years old and persists into adulthood. Thus, the obesity, like beauty, is in the eye of beholder, the ideal body has to become thinner over the past 50 years. So despite the emphasis on thinness, obesity has become an epidemic. The question is that why are some people obese? So we can uh, focus on two aspects. Number one is genetic explanation of obesity and the other one is the positive incentive model. The genetic explanation of obesity explains that um, you may have heard people talking about that uh, obesity runs in family or most of the people in our family are heavy weight which indicates that there is a um, reference to this genetic basis. However, we also tend to see that uh, there are same kind of patterns that run in the family. And these patterns are also related to the eating patterns. So um, there have been researchers on twins and adopted children to disentangle genetic and environmental influence in ways which indicate that there is a genetic cause of obesity as well as the patterns, eating patterns are same. For example, if there is sedentary lifestyle, all the members in the family would be following the same sedentary lifestyle, which may be resulting into the development of obesity. The positive incentive model, this model holds that positive reinforcement of eating has important consequences for weight maintenance. So the whole uh, concept is based on reinforcement that is operant conditioning. That is, where, for exam example, if a person is stressed and under stress, the person eats food to cope up with stress. So what happens is that the person enjoys food and individual feels happy. Uh, and is able to cope up with stress. So what happens is that the food becomes a reinforcer and the person in order to cope with stress keeps on having um, episodes of uh, eating behavior which eventually results in gaining of weight and may lead to obesity.
This view suggests that people have several types of motivation to eat, including the personal pleasure, as well as social context, as well as biological factors. For example, if you refer to the social context, there is a possibility that you may be having the peers um, who are very much indulgent in eating behaviors. So when you are accompanying them, what happens is that you eat more and more. In our culture today, most of the people are obsessed with thinness. And that has led to a number of approaches uh, to lose weight. However, we just find that usually there is uh, initial weight loss that is observed. However, because of the reason people do not stick to um, their plans of losing weight, so uh, they are unable to either maintain weight loss or they are unable to stick to their uh, program. We'll be discussing regarding the approaches to um, weight loss. Uh, generally, it has been observed that number of calories consumed has increased, which has lowered the amount of uh, physical activity due to which people are gaining more and more weight. The first approach that is very much common among people is restricting types of food, which is much popular among the people in which there are different dieting strategies that are utilized, in which there is restriction or elimination of a particular food category. However, a uh, restriction of uh, a particular food category is not a wise decision or it is not nutritionally wise. For example, restricting carbohydrates is very much popular approach. Generally, people say that um, low carb diet may lead to um, loss of weight. However, it has been observed that people tend to develop fatigue and depression after a few days on such kind of diets. And more often, it has been observed that those who are doing it uh, in a self uh, weight management program or a weight management program uh, that is run by a particular organization, they, there are more higher dropouts in such kind of program. However, the most um, healthy strategy and reasonable strategy that has been observed is <coughs> consisting of um, a diet having variety of foods with small portion. There's a program known as Weight Watcher program which emphasizes eating is a healthy uh, habit if we uh, take a balanced diet which has all the nutrients available. The best combination of weight loss and low dropout rate of any of the program has been regarding the Weight Watchers. Another approach is behavior modification program that has a great success in promoting permanent weight loss than uh, similar programs. The focus of such programs is on eating and exercise. The people are asked to monitor the change in their behavior. What is done is the people are asked to keep eating diaries so that they can get an awareness that what they eat and what circumstances they are eating and then uh, it is provided to the uh, eating therapist or the nutritionist who is working with the client and the personal and customized plans are developed in order to modify the unhealthy habits related to eating behaviors. The third approach is exercise. Exercise is often used because people are having more higher caloric food intake and there is lesser uh, in activity, that is physical activity. The weight loss has become increasingly apparent because the metabolic 
rate slows down when the food intake increases. And in order to speed up the metabolism, exercise is known uh, to be uh, a counteractor for the slow metabolic rate. So therefore, people are uh, involved in exercising, which may change the body composition, adding the muscles, while uh, on contrary, the programs which are focusing on dieting that only decrease the fat levels.